All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today's video, we're talking about root pruning fig trees. And uh, we're talking about how to do the process, how to repot the fig after the process, and whether or not you even have to do this. And so what happens is, when we have our fig trees in containers, inevitably they're going to get root bound. And this is just any old plant you could have in a container. If the root system eventually gets large enough, it will circle around inside the pot and uh, the tree, in the fig tree's case, because the roots are so vigorous, this happens maybe in a season or two, typically not in one season, but if you have container fig trees long-term in containers, this circling process happens rather quickly. So I would say at least by year three, if you took a, a fig tree out of its pot, inspected the roots, you'll see a lot of them are circling around. And eventually, the tree could choke itself out. Just a loss of nutrients, a loss of water, uh, and the tree eventually just kind of can't suck up any more nutrients, uh, and it just becomes difficult. So what growers do is they actually take off a third of the root ball during dormancy in order to actually save the tree and to revitalize the tree, enable that the tree has room to grow and new soil and new nutrients and a space within this container. If you cut the container here by a third, just imagine that one third section here of that pie is now designated for new soil. So <clears throat> that's essentially what we're doing here. I have a tree that, by the way, we, we didn't root prune it just yet. We actually root pruned it in a way for propagation purposes. So this is my Norella. It's a hardy Chicago fig that I'm quite fond of. It was in a 15 gallon size pot and that's what we did last season. We had it, I think, in a five gallon like this and I up potted it into a 15, realized that's too heavy. I don't want to really deal with the 15 gallon size pots anymore. Anything over, 10, anything over 10 gallons is too much. So what I did was I cut it in half. There was a sucker right here. And what I did was with the other half of the root system, I planted it in the ground behind us in a plot of fig trees I have here that's going in. The other half, however, is needs to go back into this five gallon pot, <clears throat> but it's too big. You'll see that if I lift this up, it doesn't fit. So we're essentially today not necessarily root pruning to revitalize the tree. We're actually root pruning because we need to just fit it into a smaller pot. And so Normally, what I would argue, as I said, you would remove a third of this root ball. I've already removed a half of the root ball, and I'm going to remove even more. So this is kind of a testament to, first of all, how amazing figs are, how resilient they are, how vigorous they are. This tree will be totally fine next year. There'll be a bit of a shock period, I imagine, in the spring. The tree probably won't love what's happened. Uh, but because there's so much root system here, I have no doubt that this tree after enough time, if we give it enough water, especially if we repot this right, right now, the tree is gonna be fine. So here's my tag, I'll put that to the side. And I'm just gonna come in here on the sides of the tree, just so I can fit this in the pot and I'm gonna start sawing away with my saw. And this is one method you can do of sawing the root system by a third. The other method you can do, as I would recommend, if you're a bit, um, I mean, a bit more, uh, I guess, aggressive and you have a lot of trees you want to do, use a Sawzall. Uh, that can make this job a lot quicker and it's a lot easier on your arm. Uh, what I will suggest is if a hand saw like this, this is normally for trees, cutting wood of trees, not the roots necessarily. I find this does a great job for the roots and eventually these blades become dull. Instead of replacing it, I just use them for sawing the roots. I have myself a nice little pocket boy that uh, I use now for the wood and it's a really, really nice saw. I love the size of it. And uh, so that's what I use instead of this. So we're just gonna come in here on the other side now and do the same exact thing. And this may seem extreme to a lot of you guys, but you know, this can be necessary. Uh, in this situation, definitely necessary. Do I want to do this to the tree? No. Is this something that in this particular case is beneficial? No. If you kept it in, if you can keep it in that 15 gallon size pot, I would be better off. 
and yeah, I mean, this is all kind of a matter of preference. Uh, determining your tree to see if it actually is going to need this first and foremost. Um, and in most cases, like I said, in my situation with my climate and my lack of sunlight, my trees don't really fill in their roots that fast. Uh, it takes a number of years and most fig trees I've had over the many years I've been growing fig trees, hundreds of different fig trees in containers, I have not really needed to root prune because I don't keep them in containers long enough. By year three or four, when they really need it, typically they're going in the ground. I've either established that I like the tree enough and want to plant it in the ground, or I've sold it to one of you guys. So I don't really do this. As somebody who, uh, <laughs> you know, you could make the argument, a lot of people probably would, that this is a technique that, uh, has to be done every other year to mature fig trees long-term in containers. I just haven't lived that. I, that has not been my reality. And again, it does depend on so many things like your conditions. If you have sunlight all day, you have a really long growing season, 180 days, 210 days or more, that's gonna be, I think, the requirement for you to say, all right, well, probably let's check. You know, after year two, year three, year four, Let's see what the root system looks like. And if the tree, I think, is the probably the top part of the tree, is really the indication as to whether or not, if it's growing a lot, if it's not really growing a whole lot, um, maybe it just needs a little bit of top pruning, actually, and not root pruning. Um, but usually, if the tree is really not doing much of anything, there's probably a, a problem with the roots. And I have had, actually, ever seed fig trees as well in grow bags I've had them in grow bags longer term than anything actually, and they do a really good job of air pruning and you almost don't really have to root prune them. So that to me is amazing. That's one positive for, air, uh, for root bags and um, fabric pots, excuse me. So, you know, I think there's, it's just not so cut and dry. It depends, and most of us, I think, don't really wanna do this work, but you'll find a situation where your tree really needs some revitalizing. It could also be, all right, well, is your tree healthy? Does it have fig mosaic virus? Is it a severe case of the virus? Well, that usually is about cutting the top of the tree back really hard. The same thing, if your tree is not really growing much, it's not really productive, well, we may need to cut the top of the tree back. If, for whatever reason, your tree really isn't growing at all and it looks really unhealthy, well, inspect the roots and maybe actually the, the roots have root rot and there actually isn't a whole lot of root system going on in here. So, you know, I think there's a lot of situations here, guys, that um, are at play and it's not so, like I said, not so cut and dry. This is a nuanced thing. The last thing to do is just take some new potting soil and fill this in here. And what I would recommend, if you miss this step, you're gonna make a mistake. With these trees that we just root pruned, you have to really make sure there's a lack of air pockets in the soil. We wanna get as much of this soil in and around the roots as possible, because if we don't, the tree is really gonna struggle with being hydrated and the root system may decline even further than what we really wanted. So do yourself a favor. I would even come in here with maybe like a stake or something, the back of the saw and tamp this in here. Use your hands, use your fists to get the soil down in here and around this root system as much as possible. It's like transplanting any fig into the ground or planting any fig in the ground or even putting it in a container. But in this particular case, I could see a lot of people having a problem if they don't actually tamp that soil around, eliminate the air pockets and then water it in really well after you do this. So that's it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit that like button for me. Check out my blog, figboss.com. We'll catch you guys for the next video.